good YouTube? This is Gabby. And this is Nick. And uh, we're doing our first video for Purebred Physiques. And we ended up doing a chest and back workout. Yeah, so here you see me. I'm just warming up with the bar. Doing uh, some partials, full range of motion, pauses. That's one of the things I like about the bar. Yeah, just warming up with the, the bar. Man, I never warm up with the bar. I always go straight to the plate. I know I shouldn't do that, but I feel like I warm up better with some weight. I guess it's a mental thing I'm kind of doing. I think I did maybe 10, 10 reps for that. So uh, today we decided to do power on the incline bench. So we did three sets of three with about three, four warm-up sets. So you're about to see my first heavy set. So this is 205 for three reps. It felt pretty good. It was a PR for me, so I was really happy. And uh, Taking my time right there just to make sure I get my rep. Then, yeah, right here I'm hitting about 235 for a good three. The last one was a grinder, but I did three sets of three of that. Heaviest I've ever been, so that's a new PR as well for me. Maybe because uh, I know I'm being videotaped with something, but... Uh, the next exercise was incline dumbbell, four sets of six to eight. I did the, uh, I warmed up a few with some 80 pounds, 90 pounds, and then my working set was uh, the hundreds for four sets, six to eight. And uh, so uh, I'm about to come next. I did uh, the 80s for about six. I didn't go to failures. I want to save my energy. So then I was like, okay, I'll try the 90s. I only got five reps on those. So here I am doing the 85s for my last two sets. I got about six reps, I believe. Still a PR for me doing them after the incline bench. Felt pretty good. All right, flat bench. So we did four sets, 10 to 15. And this was what, our third, our second workout? Our third one. This was our third exercise third we exercise, did. Yeah, yeah. And we were pretty already drained already from the first uh, the incline barbell. It was pretty heavy. Yeah, so I did. I uh, only did 155 for a clean 15 reps. It felt really good. Yeah, we felt the pump there for sure. Like the first two ones was a lot of strain on our chest, and then from this exercise we couldn't even go maybe as heavy as we would want to. So we just made sure we stuck to the form and uh, kept the reps pretty clean. Yeah, then our finisher last uh, exercise was a superset. We did flat dumbbell fly superset with some cable crossovers. So here I am uh, doing the 60s. I did four sets of 10 with that. And then you'll see Gabby, he was doing, uh, he'll be doing the cable crossovers. Yeah, that was new for me. I never ever did the flat dumbbell fly and cable crossover superset. So uh, it was definitely different today. It was definitely a different pump too. I felt my chest being targeted from different angles and stuff, but uh, definitely, the, um, definitely cable is my uh, go-to for a finisher. I love cable crossovers, especially the squeeze at the bottom and then the stretch. I feel way more than free weights and doing dumbbell flies and stuff like that. But uh, definitely more like one of my favorite exercises for chest as a finisher. So uh, that was the it for the chest part. Now we're moving on to some back. So we started with uh, four sets of failure on pull-ups, just getting a nice squeeze, uh, trying to go as high as you can. You don't need to cross the bar with your chin, just pull. As long as you stretch and basically just get all the, the blood into the lats or get it warming up before we start going our heavy rows and stuff. Yeah. So here Gabby's doing the T-bar row. We decided to do one plate for 30 reps to warm up for the superset you're about to see. Yeah, it was a good 30 reps when it went pretty up pretty fast. And uh, that was just lightweight right there. You can see I have some nice facial expressions right there. But uh, that was our first super set, right? The bent over rows. So we did about how many how many reps did we do with that? I think we did uh, like four sets of ten on each. Four sets of ten or something like that. I was bringing it more to you, uh, my. Uh, upper upper stomach so targeting the upper back and stuff but uh i guess everybody does it differently but you'll see nick after i finish his super set how he does his uh bent over rolls a bit different from mine and this was what two plates on the yeah i think two two plates or three plates yeah i think that's two yeah so here uh you see my bent over rolls look a little bit more like pen lay rows so i'm pretty much 90 degrees uh with the ground and i'm just i'm pulling it right under my lower chest I think this was about uh, 155, and then uh, can't really see it, but there is, I think, a 10 on the side. Yeah, I didn't want to swing uh, at this point, so that's why you saw me doing those pause reps at the end. Prevents me from uh, get it using the momentum. 
And then here I am doing uh, three plates on the T-bar rows. I think I got 10 reps or something like that. There you go. Nice little, uh, <laughs> nice little blooper right there. Yeah. After we jump to the hammer strength rows, four sets, 10 to 12. You see, Nick, we got about two plates on each side for that. We weren't gonna go heavy at the at this point. Our backs already dead, especially from the chest workout. We were already burnt out. We had about like half an hour left in the gym, so we decided to do just a quick superset and quick workout for our back. And we got about two plates on each side. Yeah, as you see, Gabby is doing one arm at a time. I felt like doing two arms at a time. It, it's just a different way of doing the machine. I mean, I don't know why. I, f I feel it better doing one arm at a time. It's, you get you feel it more, I find, like in a lot. You can really squeeze that shit out. And uh... Then we finished with the straight arm pull downs. We did four sets of 20. And on the last set, we we did a uh, triple drop set. So basically. I'm fucking fired. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, my basically, my you just. are all pumped up, man. You just do as many reps as you can, then you change the pin. Do as many reps as you can, change the pin. You just keep doing that, keep going lighter, but that light weight feels like the heavy weight at the, at the beginning. It's, it's crazy how it works. Yeah, but uh, anyways, yeah, that was our uh, chest and back workout. Yeah, and we hope you guys enjoyed it. We're definitely going to have more videos for you guys, but uh, anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and you better follow our journey, man. Peace. Peace.